Coach, no worries. Uh, one for one. How happy are you with that? Well, I'm. Um, to be honest, like you put in probably 99 percent of the work before the game, and and the guys have done that. Um, and I was just. It, it was a fun game to watch. Um, the way they competed, I think, especially after that that first quarter when our defense wasn't great, but we dug our heels in. We said, no, we're we're not going to go down this route. And 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 the fight and the willingness to play for each other, I thought was was really good to see. When did you find out that Chase was banned from today for this game? Uh, this morning we talked about it and and just you know figured it out. But he's done a great job of of helping to build a program that's. Resilient and and you know one guy falls out whether it's a player or a coach the next person steps up and and uh, just like to point out as well that you know Fleur and Daniel Kicker Angus Henskins Toby Banfield all the all all these people you know I'm the one Johnny Johnny, Johnny I'm the one and whoever else I missed I'm the one just standing up there but but like they're the brains behind a lot of this as well. So wasn't that disruptive? I mean, um, the, head, the head coach not. Sorry, how was it as a player to hear that the head coach wasn't going to be around uh, for today? It was a bit of a distraction. I'm not going to lie to you. Just it was a bit of a hurdle we got thrown at us this morning because um, Chase has a, has a really big role in this team. He calls plays from the sideline, and it's like I'm not going to lie. We were a little bit worried about how's going that role is going to feel and how just everyone's nerves are going to feel. And Kevin did a great job of coming in the locker room, just saying like, "Yo, next man up mentality." He did a great job of settling the ship, and he did a great job tonight. And on the sideline, was it a little bit different? Um, Coaches, the head coaches, he's quite emotional. But, uh, was it as a player, do you, do you feed off the coach on the sideline? I don't really have anything negative to say about Chase's antics. I think he's a passionate person. He plays with emotions, and so do I. So I've got nothing negative to say about that. Um, he fights for his players, and that's all I'm going to say. I don't know about the suspension at all. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, had uh, a big game from, let's say, Cook's side. This is my first game, sorry. Man, what are you doing here, bro? I'm oh, yeah. <laughs> joking, I'm joking, bro. Yeah. <laughs> this is Xavier. This is yeah. Xavier. So, well, it's all good, bro. Sorry, I just got one. I thought you might. Yeah, yeah. Welcome, yeah. welcome. Sorry. <laughs> uh, I made another great game, apparently, from, um, from your skipper. Uh, Chase has you know, gone public and said he should be MVP. Uh, what are your thoughts? Well, I, I think, you know, it's it's pretty obvious when, when X is on the court, we're a better team and, and nobody can guard him at the end of the day. I mean, he says that call plays. It's, you know, the guy's just finding ways we can get him in the ball and, and, and work off that. And and I think other guys have done, you know, Derek's done a, a really good job as well. And other people just just fit right in as well. So, um, yeah, if if I had a vote, which I don't even know if I do, I'd, I'd vote for X for sure. <laughs> Great crowd, huge crowd, yeah, yeah, huge crowd. Just walking up that tunnel, I wasn't really sure what the numbers going to be like tonight, and then just walking up that tunnel and seeing the the top part open, it just gives you energy. It gives you something to feed off, and like sometimes you come in there just a bit lackadaisical, but when you see that fan, uh, that crowd like that, you really can feed off that energy. So thanks for everyone coming out tonight. And as a coach, did you see the boys had a bit of energy? They were lifting. Was it noticeable? Sort of that extra spring that's set. Oh, it was it was awesome to see. First of all, just walking out and and, and seeing everyone there, and um, and then yeah, just just the fight and and it, it, it's just I guess when you're standing up there as as the coach, it's um, pretty made a good play, and you just hear the crowd erupt. It, it definitely gives you some juice, and and the fans were great. Yeah, slow start, Kevin, but in the end, you really showed how top classy your team is. Thanks to this, and of course, most of the other players on that court. What did what were your words in that first quarter, knowing that you were trailing in one of the few games that you don't normally trail? I think, to be honest, I didn't have to say much. I, I mean, I said defense, but we know we gave up 26 points, and that's way too many. And and I think just our activity and in, in the way they scored was just too easy. So, um, pretty simple message, and and the guys, you know. They did it themselves. They they said no. This is not how we play. And, and I thought really dug in there and and indeed up last three quarters. Did you feel the pressure as you are have only just stepped up as head coach for this game and knowing that the pressure is on you guys being the defending champion? I think you have great people around you, which helps alleviate that, as well as ignorance, which you know, kind of makes you blind to all that. And then more than anything, 
you just like to compete, whether it's a player or a coach. And and it was fun to to go out there and watch the guys compete. So I think once once the game starts, kind of those butterflies go. Matty McQuaid, you're up. Kev, uh, congratulations to you, mate. The, the, the team shot the ball at 69.1% from the field. That's the second best field goal percentage in a game in the history of the franchise. Wow. How were you guys able to attack the Tasmania D in contrast to the last time they came into this building? Well, yeah, I mean, I think we shot, what, 80% from from two or something like that, or points, points in the paint. The paint yeah. So I think just a constant attacking and putting pressure on the rim, um, not settling, and, and at the end of the day, playing for each other, a willingness to share the ball, and um, I think all that leads to it, and the guys did a great job. The half court's been a little bit of an issue for you, and it certainly was in the fourth quarter of the last time you played this team here. Were you happy with the, the way the guys executed in the half court for the most part tonight? Yeah, I think so. I, I think any time we can play with, with pace and, and just really good ball movement, um, everything looks a lot better. So, you know, there's always areas you can work on, and, um, but I think for the most part, pretty, pretty pleasing. Bex, the last time you played this team, they held you to 12 points, and um, that, that's been something that many teams haven't been able to do. Tonight, it just looked like you were in attack mode right from the start. I mean, did you feel like you could take those matchups and take advantage of those matchups every time down the floor? Um, one thing that Jack Jumpers do a really good job of, they make it it's a team committee. I might not have the one guy in front of me, but they have a big crowd around him. They do a great job of playing together. So, like, I've really got to try and find the, the gaps in the defense to try and get through them. But um, tonight, I'll just try and be aggressive. I had a bit of a rough start. I was getting cooked by Jack. I'm not going to lie to you. He was cooking me at the start of the game. And then I just stuck with it and tried to be aggressive and uh, paid out. What about the, it's a newish group, obviously, you know, the three new imports. I mean, the, the chemistry's been good from the start, it seems. But do, do you feel like things are starting to really come together for you guys? I mean, you've had a couple of slip-ups, obviously, and I've talked enough about the last time Tasmania were at Red Kudos. But do you feel like things are really starting to come together for the group right now? Oh, for sure. I mean, I think those slip-ups help build the team's character up a little bit, to be honest with you. Mm -hmm. um, it's all, when everything, you're always winning games and all that kind of stuff, and stuff sweet, then... I mean, that's not really how you build the bonds up. When you go through some tough times together, that's how you really build them up. And right now we're really starting to click together. And like, I'm only as good as my teammates allowed me to be. Derek's doing a great job of hitting me in the pockets. DJ's doing a great job. And everyone's doing a great job of playing together. And that's when we play our best basketball. Just a couple more from me, Kev. Justin Simon's performance tonight. I mean, obviously, on the one hand, he was looked like he was super aggressive offensively. He looked like he tried to make an impact at that end of the floor. But defensively, the jobby deal of Milton Dahl is absolutely outstanding. Yeah, no steals. Yeah, I mean, yeah. yeah. His, That's what we said too. Uh, uh, I know. I, I can't believe the amount of shots he, he changes and in, in making guys hurried, his activity, and, and just his character, the way he, he lifts, lifts guys up on the, on the court. You, you can't measure that. And he was great tonight. Um, and like you said, did a, did a really good job on, on Doyle, who's, who's a really good player. Dion Vasilovic, good to see a couple of threes go through. I mean, obviously, he's very public and putting a lot of weight on himself and a lot of pressure on himself during the week. But uh, that must have been pleasing for you and the group just to see a couple go through and see his confidence. Well, not that he's ever short of confidence, we know. But as far as getting a couple to go was, was huge for the team. It really was. And and I think more than that, he's he's really starting to play both sides of the ball and, and D up as well, which, which is huge for him. So... Um, it's really good to see. He, he doesn't see his, his worth, and neither do we, just relying on making a miss in shots. So um, he contributed on both ends, for sure. And just finally for me, guys, a question for both of you. The Phoenix coming into town, a little bit wounded at the moment, but uh, what are your thoughts on that matchup? You've got a bit of a, a short turnaround for a Wednesday ball game. Yeah, really looking forward to that. Obviously, it was a crazy game last time we, uh, we played them. Hopefully, it, it doesn't go as long as last time. And uh, yeah, we get after another another really good game and very talented team for sure. Well, thanks, guys, and congrats, Kev. You're the 16th head coach in franchise history. They can't take that away from you. <laughs> you want to know? Let's go. Thank you. Appreciate <laughs> it. Is there anyone else?